Hi, this is Alan from Alpers Group, and um, I'm just going to talk you through this new checklist we've got from Assets for Life, Liam Ryan's uh, company, which deals with property investments and education. So this is a free giveaway, and um, it gives you the property investors checklist, so you can use this. Um, it says here the it's an essential site viewing tool. This is the very same checklist we use in our property business and has saved us much heartache on needless unforeseen build repair costs. Let's be honest, viewing properties is an exciting prospect, especially when you're doing it as part of a life-changing financial objective. It's very easy to be caught in the moment and be in wonderment of your potential purchase. Remember you're shopping for a business and not a home. Therefore, you need to work with your head and not your heart. That's why we've developed this checklist to make sure you keep the perspective. Property investment can be a life-changing strategy. A well-planned property investment strategy could help you retire early or see you sack the boss as you become a full-time property professional. If you've been stuck in a job you hate, working with people you do not like, trying to keep up with a never-ending mountain of bills, maybe it's time to make a change. We've all been there and the good news is it really does not have to be like that. Our property education has changed lives and it can change yours too. We are well known in the property industry, recognized as leaders in investment and mentoring. Our business comprises of two distinct operations, property investment and education. We aim to provide the highest level of property education anywhere in the UK. So by working with us, you know you're in safe hands, receiving first class training and support. Our aim is to create win-win partnerships that change lives. We have set ourselves a vision to create 10,000 property graduates, and we are well on our way to achieving that goal. So if you like the idea of becoming one of them, come and join our family. Surround yourself with positive people. Be thankful for the good things in your life. Stay motivated and educated. If you make just those small changes, I promise you there will be a difference. So this is best wishes from... Leon Ryan on the right, and Jay Munoz, co-founders of Assets for Life. So this is the checklist itself. Item 1. Book a viewing with the agent and confirm on the day the exact time and address. Number 2. Drive around the area beforehand. Check the locality if you don't know the area. Take with you a tape measure, electronic measure, camera, or use your phone camera, a level, a damp meter, property details, and the notepad and pen. Check the external condition of the property for does the roof look good? Is it level and are there any missing tiles? Are the gutters clean and stable and are the drains clear? Make sure the flashings and fascias are secure and in good condition. Does the chimney look good? Are the external walls bowed? Is the pointing in good condition? Is there double glazing? Inspect window frames and sills for signs of rot. Remember to open all the windows. Check the internal condition of the property for signs of damp on the ceiling, walls and window sills. Is there peeling wallpaper and or brown stains, which are signs of leaks? Check behind the furniture. Check all the rooms and hallways for cracks. Hairline cracks are common, but if they're big enough to insert a 10 pence piece, there could be an underlying problem. Do all internal doors close properly? Are external doors secure? Is there central heating? Does the boiler appear to be in a good condition? Check radiators for rust. Turn on taps and flush toilets to make sure they work. Are the electrical sockets and fuse box, do they look modern and in good condition? Check light switches work. Is there any exposed wiring? This is the checklist continued. Uh, check inside each of the rooms of the existing property for existing services, internet, electric, gas mains, plumbing, drainage, Layout of rooms, stud walls, stroke structural walls, any extensions which may have occurred, damp or mould, loft, attic space which could potentially be usable, quality and type, stroke age of the build, materials used, type of windows, stroke roof tiles, existing fireplaces and chimneys, measure the ceiling height to ensure it fits current standards, measure the access route to ensure development material delivery would not be an issue. Locate an area for potential site office. Check out the parking options. Is there mobile reception? Is there good broadband coverage? This can be checked online. Walk around with an agent and be sure 
uh, to check the outside of the property for land and wall boundaries, civil infrastructure, i.e. retaining walls, proximity to services, sewage and drainage lines, quality of ground, odour, stroke hills, check for uh, subsidence, cracks, uneven surfaces and bricks, <coughs> parking and access to the property, Japanese knotweed and any other vicious plants, i.e. ivy or nettles, unsafe outbuildings, nearby properties in the area to compare with, i.e. state of the properties either side in terms of age, stroke cleanliness, ask the agent's opinions, how many viewers have there been, why is the property on the market, what are the vendors ideally looking for, what do they think the potential for the property stroke site could be, has there been any recent ground investigation or borehole to the site nearby that they know of? Are there any of the following surveys available currently? Structural, drainage, asbestos, topographical. Any other sites they have now as, as you are keen to look round the area and want to work with them again? Ask how soon they need to have an answer if you want to make an offer. This allows you to prove your worth by beating this time scale or ensuring you get back to the agent so they see you as a viable candidate. Ask your builder or architect if there is anything you are unsure of. Take a picture at the site viewing and ask their opinions. Ideally, the builder or architect should attend the site viewing with you. If there is anything you need to ask the agent and you are waiting for a response from them, offer to send across an email with questions on to remind them. This encourages a dialogue and when they give feedback to the vendor shows as quality viewing. If you are not interested, explain why, so the agent sends you something better suited next time. The more communication, the more the agent will think of you when they have passed opportunities. Life is short, so it's there to be enjoyed. One of the things we love the most about working in property is that it has allowed us to live the life of our dreams and, more importantly, spend lots of time with people we love. But it's taken persistence, perseverance. In any business, there will be days when you feel like giving up. So knowing how to keep pushing through and dust yourself down when things do not go according to plan is absolutely essential. Perseverance is important and required if you want to become successful in business. If you've enjoyed reading this guide and want further information, why not visit our website, https colon slash slash assetsforlife.co.uk. And there's uh, disclaimers here about um, uh, promotions, no obligation to purchase. It's not a get rich, uh, get rich scheme. Uh, various other usual sort of qualifications. And this is from Assets for Life Limited, which is based in Chelmsford in Essex. Um, and I'm going to um, go to a property seminar with these guys on the 10th 11th 12th of february 2023 so i'll be bringing a copy of my checklist and i'll be looking to pick up a lot of other information from liam ryan and his mentors if you're interested in um, collaborating with alpus then uh, you can call me that's alan on 07539141257 or zero triple three double two four one two five seven. You can schedule a call with me at calendly.com slash Alan J E or you can drop me an email at Alan at Alpersgroup.com. Cheers for now.